All right, so I'm not even going to lie to you, man. Everything that this person did was perfect. They had the power. They had the gas. They knew where they were going. They stayed on the highway the entire chase. Over. It's a chase down the bottom. White Mustang, 630 West. Foot down on the pedal. At no point did they come up off of that pedal the entire chase. And guess what? It's a Ford Mustang 5.0. It's a GT, right? And for once, a Ford Mustang did something right. But the question is, were they able to do something right the entire chase? Or did they lose control and crash out on the highway like we expect most Mustangs to do? Let's find out. What's up guys, it's your boy Knockout360 here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes it a house vlog. You know I going down, come around, let's get into it. I've got car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around for everyone else. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So I'm not even going to waste your time, man. Shout out to Hot Pursuits. This is a new YouTube channel that's doing uh, police uh, chases. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. The pursuit kicks off when Trooper Jackson spots a white Ford Mustang speeding past other cars on I-630 in Little Rock. Yeah. With speeds reaching over 130 boy, miles per hour, boy. this is no ordinary chase. Goodbye. Will the trooper catch up, or will the driver escape? Will he escape? We'll see. Already doing 87, so you're definitely speeding. Lights him up. Out of range, going to rock. All right, moving over. It's a chase now. Goodbye. White Mustang, 630 West. Come up to the prepare park. It's a chase now. Now, mind you, that's the white Mustang right there. Keep an eye on it. straight highway just disappear don't outsmart the situation don't get don't get cheeky right just foot on the gas stay on the highway everything else will take care of itself it's like we're gonna take 430 south uh, you know where's the mustang at in this area i don't know Mustang on the straightaway? Because I don't. Yeah. At this point, he's chasing ghosts. 102, 101. I'm going to let the chase play, though. Chasing the ghost for the better part of about two and a half minutes. That's not him. <laughs> 
Despite Trooper Shumate's efforts, the Mustang disappears after exiting onto I-430. The pursuit is terminated for public safety. And public safety? Your boy's been chasing the ghost for the last three minutes. He could have terminated that pursuit ago, a long time ago. The driver remains unidentified, leaving the case open-ended and the chase unresolved. Your boy got off, is what they're saying. That right there, a simple case of just go. Hold on, let's, let, let, let's read the uh, description here. At approximately 11.15, I'm sorry, I know you guys can't see this. Uh, give me one second here. All right, yeah. Uh, on a November 23, November, I'm sorry, November 23, 2024, at approximately 11.15 p.m., Arkansas State Police, police Trooper, I'm not going to say his name, observed a white Mustang speeding. Uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, the vehicle displayed paper, temporary license plate, accelerated past 130 miles per hour, weaving through traffic in a reckless manner. Uh, term, he initiated the pursuit, but the Mustang continued at a high speed, endangering the public. I would imagine both of them were endangering the public, especially after the Mustang disappeared. Uh, the vehicle disappeared, forcing the trooper to terminate the pursuit. Despite efforts, the vehicle and driver remain unidentified, man. Uh, temporary license plate charges include felony fleeing, if apprehended. Yeah, if apprehended, felony fleeing, reckless driving, endangering public safety, call to action. Oh, no, that's that's something to do with the channel. Check out Hot Pursuits, uh, Hot Police Pursuits on YouTube. I feel like every uh, every week a new police chase channel is popping up man so check these guys out i'll put the link in the description but right here it's just simple just simple you feel me don't complicate the process whatsoever keep it simple and the simple part about it is just if you know that you got the power this looks like this mustang was moving like it had to be modified like this wasn't just a standard or a stock 5-0 like I know 5-0s are fast don't get me wrong but for him to disappear on this 5-7 like he did it had to be modified so you know what I'm saying so if you know that you got the power you don't have to do the extra shit you don't have to do the Jason Statham you know transporter shit all you got to do is stay on the highway or get on the highway put the pedal to the floorboard and just go everything else will take care of itself right now for my my stock 5-0 guys and my stock 5-7 guys you might have to get creative. You know what I mean? Uh, we've seen it happen. We've seen five sevens disappear. I've seen five O's disappear. But like I said, you, you might have to get creative, you know? But if you got a 6-4 or you're sitting on a modified 5-0 uh, GT 350, uh, of course, I'm leaving out my Chevy guys, SS2, SS, Z01. And then, of course, the big boys, the Z01s, the Hellcats, the ZR1, so on and so forth, GT 500s. Just get on the highway and go. You know what I mean? Floor, foot, foot to the floor, just go. And everything else will take care of itself. If you can handle the speed of your car, which you should be able to because you're driving and you own it, if you can handle the speed of your car, you'll be just fine. Just disappear. And that's exactly what this Mustang did. No, no fancy tricks, nothing like that. You can tell that when the Mustang came into the view of the trooper, he realized, oh shit, there's a trooper behind me. You know, it's over. They know I'm speeding, right? He slowed down for a minute. And then as soon as the trooper lit him up, your boy took off because he's got paper tags, so there's no telling whether or not this car is uh, 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 legally purchased. So he's probably got a lot on the line, and he just decided, you know what, I'm just going to take it into my own hands and disappear. And that's exactly what happened. He has yet to be identified and remains at large. If he gets caught, he's going to get caught with uh, felony fleeing. So if I were him, I would, I would you know, stay a little low. But at the end of the day, guys, like I said, just get on the highway and just go. If you know you got the power, you know where you're going, obviously you're on a major highway. Late at night, of course, little to no traffic, no distractions, no, you know, uh, uh, potential, uh, you know, the, the, the potential effect of having a, a car crash is significantly lower than during the day when traffic is at its highest. Just go. But you just got to stay on it. And eventually they'll terminate it, especially in a situation like this where he couldn't even see the, the Mustang. It turned into a ghost, you know. I don't root for most of Mustangs often, man, but uh, he got away on this one. But fortunately, nobody was hurt. The trooper is okay. Nobody in the pedest no, no pedestrian was injured. No property was damaged. Just the good old fashioned, you know, I just got away type of chase. Uh, shout out to Hot Pursuits. I'll put the link in the description. Check them out. Uh, the Ford Mustang boards is up one. One. Well, maybe two because we just did a GT500 video last week as well. So the Mustang boys is up two. We'll give it to them. As always, it's been your boy Knockout. See you in the next one, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more police chases. Peace.